Welcome to the MPL Goal Show, the show where we bring you all the action from across the Northern Premier League. Adverse weather forced a postponement of many of the weekend's fixtures, but six games survived the elements in the MPL's top division. We start with Baseford United, who hosted Prescott Cables. The visitors came into this one looking to end a four-game winless run, and they made a perfect start, Callum Murphy firing them ahead shortly after the half hour. It would end level in this one though, Matt Thornhill heading home the leveller. We hope he had a better view of the goal than we did. Next up we head to Macclesfield who hosted Blythe Spartans in a top versus bottom of the table clash. Commentary for this one comes from the home side. They're easy to spot Blythe because they're in orange, are taken short. Duffy back to Rooney, Rooney's got a chance. He's thinking of a shot, he shoots, and it's in! 1-0, and I think, don't think it touched anybody in the way. Dawson goes along, again looking for Etaluku, and a nice work by Manny there, but Mella, Mella shoots and scores! Mella scores from a difficult angle, out on the right-hand side. Mella, just outside the penalty area, he has to turn. Gets it back to Rooney. Rooney to Edmondson. Edmondson to Rooney to Elliot. Shoots off the goalkeeper and in. Another goal for Macclesfield. It's raining goals. It's raining from the air. And that is three. Johnson immediately with the ball forward to Mella. Mella now striding away into the area. Duani Mella on his left foot round the keeper. Slips and pokes it in. Mella. Thought he'd lost the ball for a moment, couldn't be denied. Curran now, lost the ball forward to Justin Johnson. Bouncing ball is difficult, Johnson still gets the cross in, keeper misses it, Danny Elliott doesn't. Mac 5, Blythe nil. Mac, again looking for a ball forward, it's into Rooney. A little bit of space for Rooney, good ball down the wing to Johnson. Johnson gets there, low ball in, Mellor's there! And Mellor scores his hat-trick. On to Mikelover, who were looking for a win which would see them climb out of the division's bottom four. Workington were the visitors, and they made a perfect start from the penalty spot inside ten minutes. Stephen Rigg the scorer. The hosts were looking to avoid a fifth straight defeat, and drew back on level terms with 25 minutes to go, thanks to this cool finish from substitute Tyrese Palmer. Workington came into the weekend with the worst away record of any side in the division, but they found themselves ahead again through Jake Allen. And deep into stoppage time, another penalty from Captain Rigg made sure of the points. Next, we travel to the North East, where Stockton Town welcomed FC United of Manchester to the Map UK Stadium. Only one goal separated the sides in this one, and it came for the home side on the stroke of half-time. Adam Nicholson's excellent header, enough to guide the anchors back into the playoff places. Our final destination is the Hive Arena, where Warrington Rylands hosted Ilkston Town. The host came into this one riding the crest of a wave after four straight wins in all competitions, but they will come up empty-handed in this one. Jamie Walker scored the only goal after seven minutes, taking his tally for the season to four. The Robins are now just two points off the playoff places. 